Well, here we are for the night. This is our first kill. Carl's managed to bag this hare, and as you can see, he's no little one. I think it's a he. And uh, there's, yeah, not much left of his guts either. There's fluff all over the door too. Yeah, there is fluff, and if we, uh, if we take a little bit of a walk over here, we have a little bit closer down here on the ground, we can actually see part of the entrails, and back here, um, can't really see that properly, oh, here we go. Hasn't done his eyes any good either. And hasn't done his, his past eye oh, either. But there you go. First kill for the night, mate. What do you think of that? Yeah. Over the new barrel, boys. The uh, Jack Mill Malta, 26 inch Brenner barrel, K98 action. Uh, I can't remember what the bloody stock is now. Uh, Show 8 stock, that's what it is. Okay, oh yeah, Timmy's bugs can trigger and the cheapest uh, additional scope you can ever find. Let's go and have a look at it, mate. Well, it's one way to gut a hair, as you can see. And uh, these are big buggers, they've clearly been breeding up all through uh, autumn. And uh, the 8 mil doesn't seem to have done him much good at all. Uh, so, here you go. One dead hare. I must have hit him, um, I'm not sure where I hit him, I think I must have hit him about here. And it's just blown him apart. But then, uh, could have been more than about 60 yards. And, uh, yeah, I mean there's a whole lot of power. Uh, a 150 grain Sierra Pro Hunter, moving at about 2900 feet per second, maybe a little bit less than that. But yeah, he's not going to be pleased by a tape like that. Hair number two for me for the evening. Carl's actually taken another one in between. And I think we can um, safely call this baby um, shaving cream. Because it helps remove hair. <clears throat> now uh, another big bastard of the hair as we can see. Uh, and this time it's yeah, taken away the entrails there. I'll just lift him up. Yeah, a lot of steam. It's quite good at gutting them, as you can see. And it's quite heavy, quite a heavy animal. If I could be bothered uh, skinning it, which is a lot of trouble for a hare, I mean, probably wouldn't be, make a bad meal, but to be frank, I can't. So there we go. Uh, that's actually hair number four. Here we go, we've got uh, Carlos' third hair for the night. And um, after a little bit of, uh, after, a, my goodness, straight through, after a little bit more, a uh, bit of zeroing shots with his uh, rifle, um, he's just on fire. This is a particularly good shot, not a particularly long shot, but uh, you can see that he's, uh, that he's more than 96. Is really doing its work with a, a 6.5 or 55 chambering. It's uh, just a military rifle, but with a Tasco 6 power scope on it. But my goodness, isn't it cooking with those 100 grain uh, nozzle ballistic tips? And it's just machining these hairs. They just don't know what's hit them. Um, just brilliant work there, Carlisle. Oh, 
up. Oh, these drops. Well, we're coming up over here to uh, what is air uh, number three for the the Moors of 98 tonight. Now you can't actually see it very well here, but uh, the well, I'll see if I can pick up the hair a bit. But the uh, the hair's entrails are pretty much blown out. This seems to be a uh, a favourite trick of the Moorza. It can skin them. And if you have a look around, there's uh, a lot of fluff on the ground. And, uh, a bit more over there. So yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, gutted yet another hair. So that's, uh, that's four hairs for myself and um, and free for Carl, I believe. Uh, so that's seven hairs. And, uh, yeah, they'll be taking less of a pounding on the local, uh, local sapling. Anyway, we're going to see if we can't go and find Carlisle a fox. And then we'll probably call it in the We're coming up to, uh, Carlisle's fourth hair for the night. And, uh, indeed, uh, the eighth hair for the evening. Yeah, don't want to back into that electrified fence, Carlo. And, uh, wow, this, this really is a definable headshot. Um, absolutely perfect. If in the, uh, yeah, in fact, he's making quite a good meal. But I'm not sure that uh, Carl Wells' wife is a big fan of, uh, <laughs> of hair on the table. But yeah, that's just a perfect shot. And I, I think we can go home uh, pretty happy with ourselves after that. Pretty content. Good work, mate.